Okay, so first of all, I have a table here with multiple years worth of data in it. And I want to split this table into multiple tables, one for each year. So I'll start by making a new column for the years. Then I'll use the year function and select the date in order to get the year on its own. Then I'll double click to send that formula down the rest of the table. Then I will use the unique function in order to get a unique list of all of the years in my table. Then I'll type the number one and hold down control and drag in order to get a sequence of numbers. And what I want is to have three cells in between each of the years, as I have three columns in my table, and I also want to have a space in between each of the tables. So I'll take the sequence of numbers and I'll copy and paste it three times. Then I'll select the results of the unique formula and right click and drag and then drag back again. Then I'll copy here as values only in order to get rid of the formula. Then I'll select all of this and then right click and go to sort and sort smallest to largest. And now I have the years with three cells in between each of them. I no longer need the sequence of numbers, so I'll delete that. And then I'll select all of the years here and copy them and we'll paste them transposed. Then I don't need the years here anymore, so I can delete those. And now I have the headings set up, I will use a filter formula. So the array that I want will be these three columns here, and I'll select the whole of the table. Then use the keyboard shortcut F4 to make that an absolute cell reference so that it won't change when I drag the formula across. And I'm going to be filtering this array based on the values in the years column. So I'll select the whole of this column and press F4 again to also make that an absolute cell reference. And I'm going to be filtering this table for all of the data that is from 2014. And then close brackets and enter. And now I have a table here which contains just the data from 2014. Now I'll select the cell which actually has the formula in it and also select the three cells to the side because these two cells here are actually blank and it's important that we select these cells if not when we drag across we'll get lots of spill errors. So now I can drag across and go all the way till 2019 and I end up with multiple different tables. So here, the only part of the formula that is changing is the cell reference. So each of these tables is filtering for a different year. The date and time formatting isn't being copied across, so I'll select one of these cells in the first column and double click on the Format Painter. Then I can select each of the columns that has the dates and times in it in order to copy the formatting across. Then I'll press escape so I no longer have the format painter selected and I'll select all of these columns and then double click to increase the column width so we can actually see the dates and times. Then I'll select the first row and change this back to general so we'll be seeing the years at the top correctly. And I'll also change this to bold so that all of the headings are in bold. Then I'll select these headings here and copy them and paste them in here. And select the headings and also the cell right next to them. And then we can drag this across as well. And I need to change this here from fill series to copy cells. And now we've copied all of the headings for the individual tables. Okay, so in this video, I have taken this table here with multiple years in it. 
and I have split it so that we have multiple tables each for a different year. And it doesn't matter that some of the years have a different number of data points. And that is everything.